All right, y'all. So here we go again with more Death Stranding info, which is, um, anyways. Um, so we got another trailer recently, and we're trying to figure out, you know, what what, what else they added to this to give us a little bit more guidance on where the hell we're going with this shit. So let's watch this and see where the hell we're going with this shit. No luck. Is it 218,550? Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I, I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Still don't know what the fuck is going on. Defecation. Pollution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one. And intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that wow. someone in my position uh. has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I have a lot of busy. questions. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. All from before the death stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. Yeah. I don't. Okay. So, what I will say is that you know we gon' we gonna rewind a little bit, right? Okay, so what I'm getting from this, okay, right now, he's talking about doing all these physical things that, all these physical things that everybody does, the natural things that people do, but he's talking about fitting all of it in to a 21 minute time period. Time period. Now, first, I mean, the thing sounded like a defibrillator, that yellow thing, it sounded like it shocked him up out of his most of life's whatever he was doing. You know, I don't know if he's supposed to be sleeping while he's simulating or what he's doing. Sleep is the but this is just wild. I don't really. All we learned from this was that he he doesn't get laid do read, and Sam? and that he fits all this stuff into a twenty one minute this time period. Now, this part um is a little you interesting because I guess busy. he's still saying that he. I'm not. I'm still a little confused on whether or not he's saying you fit all of these things into a twenty one time minute period, or you can do each one of them into a twenty one minute time period. But I think he's talking about consuming all of this stuff into a twenty one time. 21 minute time period I don't know <sighs> we really still are kind of confused as to what the hell is going on this gives us the most info right here so anyways there y'all saw at the end and he was like I'm already dead so and 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 he was saying that he collected all those things like the TV shows and the, the movies and the music um of course all before the death stranding so that right there i guess gives us a little insight into the fact that death stranding is an event that takes place um and not just as uh, something random it's it, it's something that takes place but it sounds like what it does is it separates people's physical bodies from their souls but their souls don't seem to go anywhere like like you know how like i mean if you're religious people be like oh your soul goes to heaven or hell or you know and, and then there are different beliefs but it seems like that's not what happens is that their souls are separated from their bodies but stranded somewhere i don't know where in his case he was talking about a beach so i don't know but i i'm i'm just i'm just i'm confused i felt like the game was gonna be good but i just i'm i mean they're not giving us that much still um and we're getting closer and closer hopefully we get something later because i don't i don't quite really understand what's going on completely um, but that's cool or whatever. I mean, 
Oh, this looks wild. This is this. I mean, it looked wild from the first time we saw it. Um, but if that is the case, then I we still don't know. There's some speculations. People think that the baby that Sam carries around is actually him. So now we're talking about different dimensions and and time periods that are also being all convoluted and put together into this after this event, this Death Stranding event, or whatever it is. Just fuck shit up. I, I don't. I don't know, y'all. Um, I feel like every time I watch a trailer, I'm more and more confused. But at least what we got from this is that, like, we know Death Stranding is an event that takes place and that the people's physical bodies probably get separated from their souls and they're stranded somewhere. But, which, you know, I'm not going to lie, it's a pretty literal take on what he said. Um, I don't think he's hitting us with metaphors and entendres. But he could be. Um, but, yeah, man, that's really what we know, we, which is not much. You know, but we still don't really know anything. But speculations from the story, I mean, we know there's going to be two different enemies because we've seen that in the other trailers. There's those things that I still think can only catch you if they can hear you. But then there's also enemies like physical enemies. So I don't know, y'all. Yeah, I mean, but we're going to see. We're getting close to the release date ish. You know, we got some months. We still got like a few months left. But four months to be exact. But, you know, we're going to see, man. But I appreciate y'all. There's not much to say because there isn't much there, but I appreciate y'all watching this, and I love y'all, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.